um, about workers and when it comes to the industry, the goods and, and the way things are working. Well, my question, as you can tell, is very, it's very, it's a big question. So let's start with the employees, what I basically had to, had to do with them. Um, we had to retrain the employees. Um, like Omar said, this was all crazy. It was something that none of us was expecting, you know, and, and also out of our comfort zone because of the craziness. So we had to retrain the employees we had to hire temporary employees so we can keep the good environment and the good um, hygiene of all the areas in the business. Um, we also had to make uh, changes across the purchasing. Like we had meetings with the managers, with the, with the people that purchase. Um, so we had meetings for for purchasing, for um, inventory administration, for understanding what the customers was needing so we can readjust all the, the warehouse and everything inside the stores, restocking the proper items, what people were really looking, uh, you know, of their needs, the essential items. So apart from dealing with everything that was going on, we also have to work with our team, which is a family. So it was our main concern to protect them at, at any cost. Um, so we had to follow different instructions. We had to follow um, also um, inspectors were coming to the stores. We had cops coming um, once or twice a day. So we had to follow everything, all the rules. Um, we had to provide them with mask, face shield. That was the first thing I remember the second week of, of March. Um, and, then, and then the mask and then the gloves. Good thing I had a supply of gloves for three months. And also the mask, it was a craziness because we couldn't find them. So even in the same industry as an independent, we were all helping each other and, and, and having to pay three, four times the cost of an item but you know it's our main priority giving instructions to or employees to how to deal also with customers because people come stressed out from the outside so we cannot take it personal we have to you know try to keep the balance um continue working so we can provide the best, the best service for them Basically, you know, it, it was a struggle, but we manage everything and we still try our best, but everything has been, it's, it's been good. And the employees, they're happy. They understand that we care for them and we all treat each other as a family. That's when it comes to the employees. When it comes to customers, we really had to step up. We had to step up our efforts uh, to provide them with their essential goods the central items that they were looking for, um, and also to protect uh, their well-being, the well-being of the community. Implementing, like checking the last week of March, I was already checking the temperature of the employees. Uh, sorry, and also well, employees and consumers as well. Um, following protocols of of hygiene and and things that were not expected, so. It came to a time that everybody was understanding and everybody was already more calm. Um, we are in a small community, so we kind of know the customers, um, even though we had a lot of new customers, but you know, we try to manage everything and everybody was understanding and happy that we were able to supply their needs. Um, when it comes to suppliers, I think the companies, they, are, they were already making their changes. We didn't have to deal much with it. Vendors that were not coming to the stores or if they were coming, they had to wear the mask. Um, uh, we kind of stopped having vendors in the office because we didn't want the transit. Uh, so like all the payments to the companies, everything it's been wired, no checks, no touchy touchy, no hugs. Uh, so 
it's been good with the suppliers. Everybody understand each other. Uh, the other question, I think it was the how we manage the cost of all the of all the masks and everything. I think that was the question, right? And then look, this is a long question. That's correct. Yeah. Well, when it comes to that, I mean, there's no other choice. We have to take the punch. I mean, we have to do what is being instructed, and we have to. If they, if they tell us you have to wear the mask, you have to wear gloves, you have to wear the shields, I mean, we have to submit the, the, the expense. We have to do it and there's no other choice. You don't have it, you have to look for it. You have an inspector and they don't, they're not properly protected, inspector's gonna close you down. So we have to take um, you know, the expense, the cost. And, um, and you can you can give that expense to the customer. It's something that we have to take. Um, and it's my main concern that everybody's protected. So I don't even think about it. I don't think about a thousand or $2,000 worth of expenses when it comes to the health and the well-being of everybody that works there and also my community. So it's, it's, a, it's a main plus that we have to follow. And if, and if that's how it's supposed to be, that's how it's gonna be. And the uh, last question, it's about the prices going up, the increase of the, of the goods. I mean, there's that we don't have control. We don't have control because at the end of the day, when the cost rise, I mean, us as an as a, as a industry that we retail, we resell, we have to follow the sequence we have to follow pricing and we have to follow policies. What we can do from our behalf is to try to try to fight for a price, you know, try to negotiate with the companies, with vendors, so we can provide our consumers with the best prices and and try to keep the prices steady as much as we can, you know, not to transfer the expenses or the or or the big changes shift of the prices to the consumers because they're also taking a big punch. They're taking a big punch. Uh, at the end of the day, this is all like because of the high demand of the products and also the shortage, I would say, of employees um, in warehouses and distributor centers and everything is a matter of a short term, um, you know, but it's just a big punch for, to the consumer. So we are trying our best, first of all, to find the items of the things that you couldn't find. So if, if another small company would tell you, I have this and you don't have any, of course you're going to buy it. And then that difference in the price is going to be reflected to the customer. So we were trying our best to try to manage that, but we've been good. And I think everything is going to be fine within the time. And Relita, what is the, uh, the benefit to be part of an, uh, uh, an, a supermarket organization as an independent, uh, for example, for you being part of uh, the National Supermarket Association? Actually, this is a good, great question. Um, because me as an independent, let's say there's a lot of people independent, we all belong to the NSA, uh, you know, us who belongs to the NSA. So we are not, we don't feel alone. We don't feel as an independent. Um, we feel more as, as a team. So if one of us has a question, if, if one of us has a doubt of everything that is happening, how can I control this? What is, what's the next rule? What am I expecting? We also have a chat, you know, that, that we can write a question and we're gonna have answers. Or we can call the office and they're gonna help us out. Uh, if you don't know where to find some products, we try to help each other, uh, you know, so we, we, we hold our backs together. We don't feel alone. It, it's, it's a teamwork. This is all teamwork. If you need a technician, you don't have a technician, you ask them, they will give instructions. I have this one. This one can help you. This one is not good. This is good. So, you know, we're working together and that's how it happens. It's a teamwork for everything.